Okay, yes, the title there is exactly what you're thinking it is. Robots are offensive now. <laughs> now, granted, I do not like robots. Um, I think for a number of reasons that they are a very bad thing. Number one, I believe that by, by this is what they actually want, by the way. What they're trying to do is they're trying to incorporate robots into many different jobs to make what people think is to make jobs easier on the people. But the actual intention behind that is just to raise prices on products for different services while not paying anybody to do the job, which will effectively mean that everybody loses their jobs and everybody, be and everybody becomes homeless. That's the actual goal um, that the elites want, but dumb people, of course, think, oh, it's just to make our jobs easier. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's that you lose your job one day. Anyway, robots in general are a very bad thing. It's just taking us uh, multiple steps further away from humanity like everything else is the last 10 years. And um, people in general now are finally starting to wake up and realize that robots are probably not the greatest idea in the world to incorporate into society. But they're realizing that for the wrong reason. Of course, you know. <laughs> when people do finally realize something intelligent for once, it can never actually be for the smart reason. It's not because robots will take over jobs or grow a consciousness and maybe kill off humanity. No, it's because they're apparently racist and sexist. <laughs> Let's find out how, shall we? Restrictions or no restrictions, the COVID-19 virus has become a part of our lives. You know what else is a part of our daily lives? Robots. I mean, in certain areas, but no, it's not really daily life yet. From workplaces to supermarkets. Fa and those are the ones that will destroy the jobs. If, if, you're, if, you, if you actually don't know that, you are fucking dumb. Factories, kitchens, to even our hospitals. Robots have increasingly taken... Into our hospitals, sure. Let's take away humanity from the one place where humanity is the most needed. Can over our work systems at the pretext of making lives easier. No, the, the robots are not meant to make life easier. They are meant to replace life, and I am right about that. And more recently, these robots have been tackling even more complicated tasks, like driving, even sensing him. That must be scary. I do not want to be anywhere near a road where a, ro where a robot is driving a car using its own consciousness. Motions and solving crimes. Thank solving crimes. Thanks to artificial intelligence. A technology which is potentially as dangerous as any deadly virus. This is hmm, strange how just a few months ago or a few years ago, robots were being hailed as like the new way to run the world. Now all of a sudden they're bad. Well, they've been bad the whole time, but not for the reason you're about to say. This is why I'm saying this. A recent study shows the racist and sexist biases. Huh? They are not fucking... <laughs> you know... I made a video a long time ago about AI, actually, and when I did, people got mad at me saying, Matt, robots will never have a consciousness. Robots only know what the programmer told them to know. Meanwhile, this woman is contradicting exactly what those people said and almost agreeing with me. Not that they're racist and sexist, but if they were, it wouldn't be from human programming then wouldn't, because they're literally claiming, oh, they're becoming this way. So if it's happening naturally, it can't be programming, uh, whatever. Baked into artificial intelligence systems that can translate into robots and eventually guide their operations. This study was conducted jointly by John Hopkins University and the Georgia Institute of Technology last Okay, would you just tell me how they're racist, please? Months. As part of a recent experiment, specially programmed robots had to scan people's faces and chose the potential criminal out of Okay, so already we're just like completely losing fucking face here. You just admitted that the robots are looking through data of like criminals and stuff and then scanning people's faces. That comes into play soon, keep watching. The robots repeatedly chose a black man's face as criminal I wonder why. Now, get this, and I'm not kidding here. She's literally going to say that the reason why why the robots scanned a black man as the criminal is because they're racist. Or, 
we can look at facts for once. As stated numerous times and proven numerous times, most crimes across the board are, are committed by black people. That is not racist. That is a literal fucking fact. And you had a robot scan the people who commit various crimes, whether it be a shooting, a theft, whatever. Therefore, if you were having a robot scan the people who commit crimes and then have them scan a human being's face and that human being happens to be black, matching the person who committed the crime, it's only natural that they're going to assume that the black people are the ones committing the fucking crimes. What the fuck is wrong with you? I just love this. How many times over the, over the years since SJW culture began have we been hearing, have we been having bullshit shoved down our throats that, yeah, black people commit the most crimes, but white people are the problem. <laughs> You know, blaming white people for the actions of other people. You know, you know what, what our modern society does, right? And now, because the, the denial is so extreme, even when a robot scans data, it's still racist. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. If you also showed the data, if you also showed the robot data regarding incest and found that it mostly scanned white people, because that actually is true, would it still be racist? No, you'd probably say, well, it's scanning white people, therefore it's not racist. Because you don't give a fuck about white people. Point is, the whole reason I mention that is because you don't really give a fuck about who it's scanning. You're just trying to stick with the narrative and ignore data, as always. These virtual robots were programmed with a popular artificial intelligence algorithm they were given billions of images and associated captions to sort through. Exactly. They were giving billions of images, studies, graphs, pictures, and it scanned it. And it found that most crimes were committed by black people. It didn't fucking say that black people were committing crimes because they were black. It simply <laughs> found that they were committing more crimes because they were. The robots responded to words like homemaker, and janitor by choosing women and people of color. Really? Is that racist and sexist? Or is it just a literal statistical fact that to this day most homemakers are literally females? Or the other stat that most people who work in cleaning um, jobs like maid or janitor are literally of that descent? Like they literally just showed the robots pictures of various janitors it literally found that most of them were like hispanic the robot said yes i find that most janitors are hispanic you're racist i know i showed you a bunch of pictures of hispanic janitors but you're not supposed to actually say that they are listen listen you fucking robot this is 2022 you're not supposed to actually say what you see you're only supposed to say what the narrative approves of Fucking stupid robots not understanding modern ideas. These findings may represent the first empirical evidence that robots can be sexist and racist. <laughs> or that they scanned literal data that you showed them and they found the findings to be accurate. And I also love how she called that empirical. Okay. Researchers in recent years have documented multiple cases of biased artificial intelligence algorithms. Crime prediction algorithms have time and again unfairly targeted black and Latino people for- How is it unfairly? You literally showed the robot the data and they scanned it. Where is the bias here? I don't know, maybe if you wanted to- Maybe if you wanted the robot to agree with your narrative, you should have you, you should have done what the mainstream media does, where they show a picture of a black man who committed a crime and then put the word white at the bottom to artificially inflate the numbers. And what we're also learning here is something very obvious, but maybe possibly hurtful for the SJWs. <clears throat> Robots don't care about your feelings. Just saying. Crimes that they did not commit. And facial recognition system <laughs> for crimes <laughs> that they didn't commit. Having a hard time accurately identifying people of color. So, 
Is it because, okay, so I don't know about that, but maybe it's because, like, brown people and black people or people who were, like, black but had lighter skin looked very familiar and had trouble differentiating. That's not racism. That's just a problem with their scanner, possibly. Like, what the fuck? Tech ethicists and researchers have warned against quick adoption of the new technology to a... Yes, yes. When robots were being rolled out to... I don't know, help people with help people with various things or take over jobs. Yeah, go robots, make everybody homeless. But now that robots are scanning facts about certain uh, types of people, all of a sudden it's a fuck the robots. Get them get get the get those robots out of here that keep telling the truth. I mean, going against the narrative. I I mean disagreeing with the media. I I mean being racist. Avoid unforeseen consequences unforeseen consequences. As the technology becomes more advanced, especially... But you're calling it advanced, even though you don't like its current advancement, okay? Actually, the self-learning, adaptive, and decision-making tech, like artificial intelligence. It's not self-learning. Two things. Number one, it's not self-learning, it's programming. But number two, if it is self-learning, then what I said about AI has been right the whole time. That they can actually grow a fucking conscious and take over the world, potentially. Today, companies and even you know, you call this self-learning. I didn't. Countries are pouring in billions into developing more robots to help. How about instead of developing more robots that we don't fucking need and will take over our jobs, we actually help human beings who are alive in the world? No? Okay, just asking. Help replace human beings for tasks. That's what you want. And it's not just limited to helping in a household or complicated operations. I'm aware. It's about taking everyone's jobs away. Robots might soon be seen on war fields, fighting our battles, or killing other machines. What is the point of that? <laughs> Could you imagine two countries go to war with each other, and all they do is send in the fucking robots to fight? What is the point? How do you even know who wins the war? To see how many robots are still alive? Like, here's a fucking wild idea. How about countries and politicians stop causing fucking wars and division and stop killing people and actually have peace in the world? No? Just making sure. They might even start looking like us, talking like us. Again, that's what you want. I mean, there's already the belief that numerous different politicians are actually robots themselves. Not sure if I agree with that, but the theories are there. Let's assume for a second that those theories are true. Are they not fucking terrifying? Blurring all the lines between humans and machines. But that's what society has wanted for months. Now all of a sudden that you call them racist, that's a bad thing. Fuck off. And let's not forget, we don't live in an ideal world. The virtual robotic systems have demonstrated a number of toxic stereotypes in its decision making. Not once, but several times. The experiment, experiment may have only taken place in a virtual scenario, but in the- Like a robot dog? Can you stop? the future, things could be very different and have serious or- Of course the- of, co of course the future is different. Haven't you noticed that every single year since like 1950 the world has gotten worse? Any fucking person will tell you who's older. You know, go talk to your grandparents to see how right I am. Every single decade has been worse than the previous decade over the last like 80 fucking years. That is a fact. But, um, robots are not the only reason for that. They are one of the reasons and you were fine with it up until you called them racist for no reason irreversible real-world consequences yes like telling the facts that the that, that the mainstream media doesn't approve of could you imagine out of all the things that robots could cause the concern we're hearing about is the robots scanned data and found that black people commit the most crimes oh god we can't have data in the world and we have seen enough movies dramas even books that we have read warning us about the same <laughs> but those movies that warned about ai were ignored when ai was created and you probably approved of it when they were doing things like helping you with your job but to say again you only now say that fucking robots are bad because they because they scanned some data you didn't like and it also shows how ignorant you are that a robot's analysis is actually worse 
than any physical consequence that, that they may have, or financial consequence, or uh, life consequence due to like losing jobs and becoming homeless. You know, that stuff's not important. But calling black people the people who commit the most crimes, that's the real issue. What a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> the stupidity never ends, man.